Well, the Bruins are on a roll. Here's Jim Hill. When you talk about the Bruins being on a roll, there's always those people in the background. They don't want mm. any credit. They just want to do whatever is best for the team. Here's a perfect example from Jim Herrick to uh, Mick Cronin. Each of the last five UCLA men's head basketball coaches have relied on Doug Erickson. He's the Bruins director of basketball administration and has been an integral part of the program since joining the staff. That was way back in 1992. Uh, Joe Pena Lopez sat down with Doug yesterday. Doug, you've been here at UCLA for 31 years. March Madness rolls around. This is the 24th time UCLA uh, is in the NCAA tournament in your tenure. What, what have those 24 times been like for you? Each one has been just great. It's, it's uh, my favorite time of the season. Look forward to all the, all the games, the families attending. They're always usually pretty good games. And just, uh, just uh, excitement in March. It's also a busy time for you. March Madness, I mean, what does your job entail and, and, and what does it look like? I'm the travel director for the team, and uh, but during the tournament, it, I become more the uh, ticket manager because, you know, everybody wants to go to the games. Some magic on the floor. Jim Herrick and UCLA can hang a banner in Westwood. You were part of the 1995 Jim Herrick Coach National title, the, the last one that UCLA has won. I know you guys are yeah. looking to get another one, but, but what was that experience like? Oh, in it, was, it was great. You know, uh, we won it up in Seattle. After we had won the championship the next day, uh, we, we had a banner raising ceremony in Poly Pavilion. And Coach Herrick introduces the whole team, the managers, all the staff. There was one, only one person that was inter introduced, and it was me. So I get home and, and uh, I'm feeling sorry for myself. And I get a ring on the phone, and it's Coach Wooden. And just, you know, saying, aren't you a part of the team? And, uh, and he just cheered me up, and he said, oh, you just forgot, you know, not a big deal. And so what happened, to, what was my worst thing turned into, you know, my best. When you think about your three plus decades here, is it emotional for you to, to think about the ride you, you've been on? When we were up in Sacramento this last week, I had uh, most of my family members in all, all my friends from Eureka and I was watching them in the stands really more than the game just to see how much they, they were loving it to see my old man pumping his fist and, mm. and it just brought tears to my eyes and I was just like man I am the luckiest man in the world kind of to remember a quote one time I when coach Herrick was the coach um, I remember I was feeling a bit sorry for myself and I, I was like ah, coach I don't know if I can do this job and, and he says to me in his West Virginia twang, he said, Erickson, you haven't worked a day in your life. And he was, he was so right. I really haven't. It's just been just a, a dream come true. Leave it to Jim Herrick to put it into its proper perspective. And by the way, without a doubt, he's on his way to Las Vegas for the, his 15th trip to the round of Sweet 16 as a Bruins face Gonzaga. That will be on Thursday. Pat, back to you now. All right. Go Bruins. Yes. Thanks, Jim. to their success.